If you've got a Mac and an iPhone that are running the latest software, there's a new feature called iPhone mirroring, and yeah, it's a bit of a game changer. I'm not over-exaggerating or being sarcastic, it's just really, really good. iOS 18 and Mac OS Sequoia are out, and one of the best new features is iPhone mirroring. In this video, we're gonna talk about how it works, and most importantly, a bunch of ways that you can use it. Now, to get mirroring to work, you need to make sure that both devices are running the latest software, and you'll also need to make sure both devices are signed in via the same Apple account, and your phone is locked and somewhere near your Mac. If you search in your Mac apps, you should find a new app for Mac OS Sequoia called iPhone Mirroring. And when you open it up, it'll prompt you to allow notifications from your phone. I would say, do not allow that because let me tell you, it's a lot. And besides, you can always turn it back on again from the notification settings on your Mac if you really want to get every single notification under the sun. Eventually, your phone home screen should pop up to show that your Mac is now connected to your iPhone. And you can now control it and interact with it right here in this little iPhone shaped window. Now, now that includes standard stuff like clicking and typing, but also you can use keyboard shortcuts. So for example, if you're in an app, you can just type option one and that'll send you to the home screen. App switcher is also option two, or you can open search with option three. Now the other option, is just putting your mouse up here in the corner and clicking on one of those icons. And now the fact that whatever mouse and keyboard you've got connected to your Mac are now seamlessly controlling your phone means you can do all sorts. Here are eight cool things to go off and have a try, including one that I think is just magic. First up, if like me, you jump ship from Twitter or X or whatever it's called to threads, you'll know that the desktop experience is a bit bad. But using mirroring, you can now easily access threads and comment, like, post, right from your Mac. Same goes for TikTok and Instagram. Anyone who's working on managing social accounts is going to have a much easier time with this way of posting. Now, speaking of content creators, if you want to record a tutorial of something that works on an iPhone, maybe you're a YouTube creator like me, or perhaps you just want to show someone something at work, or maybe do some tech support for an elderly relative, also, one of my main jobs, you can download a number of screen recording apps, but it's all a bit clunky. And with iPhone mirroring, you can just record your Mac screen and you're all good. You also get bonus points if you can combo this with something like Loom for making really quick walkthrough videos that also have your head on. Now, while we're here, I need to tell you about Skillshare, who are sponsoring today's video. They've got a really nice iPhone app, by the way, as well as a web portal. And if you've never heard of Skillshare, they're the largest online learning community for creators creatives with literally thousands of classes available, led by experts in industries like film, design, productivity, and more. And just recently, I've been using Skillshare to help level up my flat lay photography when it comes to taking funky YouTube thumbnails. Now, there's a ton of courses on this topic, but this one ticked all my boxes. If you're wanting to start a lucrative side hustle, explore a new hobby, or maybe tackle some professional development, I'll bet there's something on here that can help you do that on a schedule that suits you. And crucially, if you're the sort of person that likes to learn by doing, all the classes that I've completed have got an interactive element where you can create and complete a project as part of the class and then get feedback from the community. It's a really good way of staying accountable and then making sure your learning translates into action. Ordinarily, you just get seven days to try out Skillshare, but I've worked with the team to make sure the first 500 people to join using my link will receive a whole month's trial absolutely free. Just check out the code in the description and see what you fancy learning next. Next up, you might be wondering how a video works using mirroring. Well, if you open up a YouTube app and fire up a video, you can just go into full screen and you'll notice the phone app just auto rotates. Plus, it's much easier to drop a massive comment to if you've got something nice that you want to say. I'm finding this works a lot better for watching YouTube videos on a smaller screen without having to use up a browser window to take that feed. Another app I'm a big fan of is Castro for managing all my podcasts, but there isn't a web app or a Mac version available. So my only options that let me stay all up to date and synced up with my podcast is to listen with headphones or using the iPhone speaker. But now I can run a podcast through my Mac seamlessly using mirroring. This works using that clever headphone switching trick or using my MacBook's superior speakers. Now, in terms of task and device switching, yeah, I know this is gonna be one of those 2024 problems, but there is something about getting a notification through on your phone and then having to take the time to take your phone out of your pocket, log into it, then deal with the notification, and then also avoid getting sucked down a whole notification black hole. But with iPhone mirroring, you can just be on your Mac, 
deal with whatever you need and then get back to your work without ever having to switch devices. It's a small time saver, I know, but it will add up over time, plus give you the benefit of added focus. Now, there are a bunch of iPhone only apps that suddenly become really practical using this new feature. Journal, for example, is an Apple made iPhone only app that's free to use, but not everyone wants to make journal entries by typing stuff into your phone or leaving voice notes. Well, with iPhone mirroring, you can just open up the app and add a new journal entry right here on your Mac. Another usability issue is getting ourselves into jiggle mode. Well, back in the day, we used to be able to organize our iPhone by going into iTunes. Remember iTunes? And if you're too young for that, iTunes was like a digital record shop. Records, yeah, they were physical items that let you play music on something called a stereo. Stereo, well, that was a little bit like a gramophone. Six hours later. Anyway, that was how we used to organize our phones. Well, now you have to do this long press thing and then start moving things around. It's not super easy. Well, something I found really helpful is rearranging my iPhone home screen using iPhone mirroring. You've got much better control over pretty much every aspect of getting your home screen looking just right. And then finally, check this out. This is kind of magic. So if I open up my photos app on my phone using mirroring, click on a photo and then paste it into a document here on my Mac, voila totally wireless switching and that's definitely faster and easier than using airdrop absolute game changer okay over to you folks let me know in the comments what is your favorite use case that you found for this feature maybe like evil lending machine over here you're off playing pokemon in the office and no one knows well no judgment here, mate. You just let us know when you find Pikachu. And if you enjoyed this video, I've got a whole set of unusual iPhone accessories that I'm sure you'll love. It's just over here. See you next time.